Here's a small problem I ran into a few years ago when building a what we call a California style roof where we actually build a roof over another roof so we need to put some plywood down and then build a section of the roof over that particular roof um, and another another word for it is fill too you know you're you're filling in a section of the roof but anyway I ran into a problem when I straight edged the two roofs to make sure that the fill was going to blend in with the other roof and realize there was going to be some type of a bow if I left the roof sheeting like it was and needed to actually grind it down and uh, this is the first time I ran into this situation and uh, quite frankly it was probably the first time I really spent a lot of time checking it to be honest with you as you can see here here's a six foot level and uh, I'm using it as a straight edge and you can see that on the left hand side of the picture where the black arrow is there's quite a bit there's a large gap between the top of the roof rafter and the bottom of the straight edge and you can even see on the other side that we have a small gap also so some of this some more of this roof sheeting could have been grounded off but I didn't want to get carried away because I'm sure that the engineer wouldn't have appreciated that if I didn't have anything to nail into or anything for the um, roof sheeting to nail into. Um, here, here's another example where I'm using the straight edge and you can see that it's blending in pretty good here. But as we already seen, this isn't always going to be the case. What would be the maximum uh, variation for something like this? What would be the, you know, if I was to straight edge something on a roof, I think three quarters of an inch to an inch to an inch might be pushing it. Anything less than three quarters of an inch might not be visible. And uh, a half of an inch, um, for the most part, you're probably never going to see that. And I hate to even say this, even an inch you might not see with some of these thicker composition shingles. And if this was a wood shake roof um, or a wood shingle roof, you might not see it at all if it was if it was an inch. Um, so just wanted to make anyone who's planning on building some type of a roof with fill or what we refer to in California as a California roof where we go over another roof um, that you could actually have problems like I ran into here and would need to compensate for them. 